All right, so we got Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League officially delayed till February 2024. Okay, wait. What's up, everybody? What? Damon here, and in today's gaming news, Suicide Squad just got punted all the way into next year. The final pre-launch trailer for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom includes a few familiar faces, plus EA Shout just announced IGN. a new single-player FPS. Why Elder did Ring's they... creator, It's Honored in Time okay, magazine, wait, and the big computer game just got a console release date. This is your daily fix. Okay, well, uh, yeah, give me the loop, please. Give me the loop. Hey. Rocksteady has officially delayed Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League to February 2nd, 2024, quite a few months from its previous my, my, my May 26, the third, 2023 the release date. The developer announced the news on Twitter today, writing in a statement, we've made the tough but necessary decision to take the time needed to work on getting the game to be the best quality experience for players. Thank you to our amazing community for the continued support, patience, okay. and understanding. There is much more to share in the months ahead, and we look forward to seeing you in Metropolis next year. So okay. Suicide Squad is now the first game to get a release date in 2024. It was announced way back in August of 2020. It was supposed to be out last year, and then was delayed to early 2023. At the Game Awards in December, it got a May 26th release date, but then was delayed again after a disastrous State of Play demonstration in February. Now it's bumped all the way into next year. If, after all this time, Rocksteady doesn't nix the always online requirement and the battle pass and the dumb shoot the purple things gameplay, people will show this game no mercy. So that's a crazy story to start with. Let's talk about a game that actually is coming out okay. this May. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, that's all we really wanted to come here for was for the Suicide Squad thing. Okay, here's my take on this, right? We, oh, first of all, if you guys want to check out my uh, reaction to Legend of Zelda, you know, you, you, I reacted to it. Just go, uh, just go on my channel, just scroll up a little bit, you, you'll see it. Other than that, okay. Now, the whole thing about the Suicide Squad thing. Now, when it comes to game being pushed back, okay, for example, uh, Star, the Star Wars game that's coming out on the 28th of uh, April. When that game got pushed back, first of all, when they showed uh, a, a release date, no, yeah, when they gave us a release date at the Game Awards for Star Wars, um, oh my God, was it the, uh, was it the, what, what was the, what was the rest of the name? I'm trying, I'm trying to say the, the rest of the name. It was something Survivor, something Jedi Survivor. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, but you, we all know the new Star Wars game we're talking about. Okay, let's not act dumb here. Okay, but okay. They pushed it back from March 17th to April 28th. Now, I don't know why. Maybe it was to, like, polish up a few things. Makes sense. Now, this game, by the way, has been pushed back twice or th I think three times. Because, yeah, it came out 2020. Uh, trailer came out 2020, whatever. Uh, again, like he mentioned, the state of play, boom, that pushed back again. So that's twice. And I think one... Oh, was it one more? I think I think it was one more. Two, twice, uh, a, a couple times basically. They got pushed back, pushed back a couple times. My take on this is, I think a lot of people are okay. I think they don't they don't want to get that Gotham Knights treatment, and so let me explain that. Okay, Gotham Knights, in my opinion, right? It looked absolutely amazing on the trailer. But one thing that we cannot forget, the game gameplay wise, it for me, it didn't do it. It didn't do justice. Um, I just didn't like it, if I'm being real. And, and sorry if I'm spinning everywhere. I'm just so nasty, ill. But yeah, I, I just couldn't rock with it. And a lot of other people can do it too. And here's the thing, I'm not saying that, oh, I gotta go with that, I gotta go with the crowd and all this not no 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 no. Best believe I have my own decisions. I make my own uh, you know, whatever conclusions, whatever you want to call it, whatever some big long ten letter word, whatever you can come up with any word you want. I make my own decision when it comes to me liking the game or not. I never ride the coattail. I never ride the train. You will never see me doing that. Just I just want y'all to you know just for me to know that like because like at the end of the day when it comes down to it, bro, I feel like that's just fake and I don't want to be fake with y'all. You know, at the end of the day, so um, you will never ever ever see me get my decision from somebody else or from a group of people that say they don't like it you have to, i actually got to play it myself i didn't like it okay now with this game i've already seen we've already uh, actually reacted to a couple of trailers of this game uh from like the game awards clip where uh you know batman killed the cop i am vengeance he came down just looking swole six foot six michael he had the michael jordan build and everything um and so the cutscenes look really good 
I think obviously it's the gameplay. I think they want to polish up the gameplay. They pushed it back in well next next year. So in February, that's literally almost one whole year. Um, they they, they pushed it back. Um, I honestly don't know what they could be fixing. Like, uh, the, the like like the developer said, you know, he wants the game to be perfect. He or she. Well, I'm pretty sure everybody that works there wants the game to be perfect. I'm pretty sure it wasn't just his idea to push the game back. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were. It was like a back and forth thing of of, of you know when should you know um, they drop the game and they ultimately decided to drop it you know next next year. Um, I feel like since if you if let's let's just read his tweet again. Let's just read his tweet. Okay, this is the developer's tweet. Oh, war sorry, the development teams uh, of of Suicide Squad of Suicide, of Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. I'm sorry if I can't speak. This is their tweet. Now, when I read this, when the guy was reading this from IGN, first of all, shout out to you, bro. Um, we have made the, we have made the tough but necessary decision. Now, that means this could mean that some people wanted to drop the game now because it was delayed so long. Right, some people. I feel like some people in the team wanted the game to drop now. They thought it was perfect, blah 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 blah, and some people didn't want to drop it, and then they ultimately decided, like you know, you know what? Let's just wait, and then let's blah blah blah. When some games do that, I fully respect that because they're like, you know what? Our game is not perfect. Our game is not where we want it to be. Let's hold on to it for a little bit. Let's keep working on it until like it's time to do it. Some games just rush them out. Some game, and I'm not gonna say no games names. I'm not gonna, we, but we all know those. You know, we all know those game franchises. No matter how trash the game is, yeah, that thing's coming out. We know y'all gonna buy it. <laughs> we know, we know y'all gonna empty your pockets. We know y'all gonna literally sacrifice what half of your paycheck to buy our game. We know that. We know that one. Yeah, let's just put it out. Even though it, it, it might be the same game from last year, or even though it might be, you know trash you know i don't really use the word trash but even though the game might be trash we know y'all gonna buy it so it really don't matter so we're just gonna put it out there i respect the suicide squad uh kill the justice league team i respect them for even just putting it off as like you know what this is not good our game is not not good i, I don't want to say like it's not good but like i respect them for even saying okay our game is not ready yet it's not so let's just you know hold off let's you know but for a year, though, that's the thing. Like, what are they going to, like, I feel like they're going to change a lot of things. If they're pushing it off into the next year, to 2024, bro, yeah, they got to change it. They're definitely changing a few things, obviously. But, bro, I was actually excited for this game to come out, too. I'll be real. We was reacting to clips and everything, bro. That's crazy, bro. But they got to do what they got to do, bro. They're doing, it, they're, they're doing it for us, by the way. They're pushing this game back for us. Don't think that they're just pushing this game back just to push it back. No, they're pushing this game back because they think that their game is not ready yet. Simple as that. I, I don't see uh, this as, as as like a, you know, um, I mean, that's the only reason for them to push it back. It's because the game is not, there's literally no other reason for them to push their game back. It would, it would literally make no sense. If they wanted to drop it, I mean, you could say, oh, well, they, they probably wanted to drop it at a good time. <laughs> Some people will say something like that, and I got an answer to that. If they wanted to drop it at a good time, they could they probably could have just dropped it in November or October in like in like the later months. You know, obviously that's the smart thing to do if you have like a a really big game or a really big anticipated game. You would drop it later in the year, like near right around like Christmas or uh, November. You know, stuff like that. You know, but when it comes down to it, you know, I I I mean. I agree with the decision, you know, to, if your game's not ready, push it back. Simple as that. And I really respect it. I mean, I'm not here to go off on a, on a whole team. Oh, you guys were supposed to have this out by next year. You guys are horrible. No, I'm not. No, I fully understand it. You know, and I don't even work in the gaming industry, but if it was to, if I, if I was, I would fully, I mean, right now I fully understand it. I don't even work <laughs> for a gaming company, you know, but you know, a, a lot of games that I like, now has been pushed back you know and they fixed it right up and dropped it you know and it was perfect so 
Yeah, comment down below. What do you guys think of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? What do you guys think about that game being pushed back? I feel like some people are going to like it. Some people are not going to like it. But it is what it is. There's nothing, there's nothing you can do about it. There's, there's no, there's nothing, there's literally, physically, there's nothing me and you can do about it. We can't just go into their headquarters and take the game and, ha ha, I got it. And then try to multiply it. <laughs> and then try to multiply the disc or something. We can't do that. There's, there's nothing we can do. As much as some people might get mad, what are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you, what for? What are you gonna do about it? What what are you what are you planning to do about it? What do you think you think you can just muscle into their into their offices and demand them to just drop it all over the PlayStation <laughs> the PlayStation store? <laughs> bro, some people kill me, bro. Oh my god. Be getting mad for no reason. Other than that, again, comment down below what you guys think about this video. Uh like the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys like you know the video. And I'll see you later for the next time I'm out. And